Hello Tarot Lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to unbox these three gorgeous decks with you. I got these three oracles yesterday and I wanted, I was so eager to open the car, the, the, to unbox them, but I decided to wait till we do this together. So this is the Rooted Woman Oracle by Sharon Blackie and uh, artwork by Hannah Willow. And I saw some images uh, um, about this uh, oracle and I was really so happy because uh, the artwork is so beautiful. I was so fascinated and I liked it so much. And uh, I decided that I really want to buy it. So this is the box. It's by uh, Hay House and I love Hay House production. And the box looks really nice. May the rooted woman who were our ancestors and the spirits and stories of the lands they lived in guide us on our uh, he um, heroine's journey. Okay, I love this color, this beautiful purple color. The box is really nice. And let's have a look at the cards and the guidebook. The guidebook is nice as we see introduction um working with the rooted woman oracle and then spreads active imagination and then the cards it's not colored no image of the cards and the cards are really uh, they look beautiful i saw some images and i was impressed let's have a look at the cards the backs are stunning, very nice, and let's have a look at those gorgeous cards. Wheel, the source of life. I love the artwork. Well, I'm sorry, well, the source of life. Island, boundaries and isolation. Cave, incubation. It's dark. Bog, stagnation, forest, finding the path, meadow, flourishing and regenerating, mountain, vision and inspiration. I love the artwork. Sea, plumping the depths, moor. The artwork is really beautiful. It has this uh, Celtic feel. I don't know. I feel Celtic energy, lake cliff standing on the edge number 12 beautiful image and this is the bridge stone circle Karen portal to the mystery look at this card it's so mysterious and the artwork is really beautiful it is um, it's deep it's not so colorful and it is I don't know it it has um it's so attractive to me the fisher fisher king's court the isle of women the well maiden okay so these are 17 cards and then number one again well maiden old crane woman sovereignty the power of the land. This is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful deck. Selkie. Okay. I told you it has this Celtic feel. Sir Edwin and Ellen. Yes, it has this Celtic feel. And I love the artwork. Rhiannon. So these are some goddesses. The burdened moon. Sheila. Nagig. Yes, this is the goddess. And... The Bean, Fisa, Masha, Old Woman of Dreams, The Grail Reaper, the artwork is stunning, 17, the Morrigan, and then the third suit, so there are, it looks like there are four suits, okay, so this is the second suit and this is the first one, of the, uh, the first card of the third, Quest, Imram, Pilgrimage, Labyrinth, this is a beautiful, powerful deck. The Wasteland, The Call, The Threshold, 
the fall this is a beautiful deck very interesting you the cardstock is very nice it is dark but in a very uh, beautiful way powerful way initiation this is a beautiful card look at all these bats everywhere and transformation shape shifting reclaiming the feminine the sacred marriage okay and then the return and two more card cards so this is a very unique deck i'm so happy that i got it these are the backs i'm going to edge it in this uh, green, grass green and they are very beautiful dark and very special and unique i'm so in love with this beautiful oracle the rooted woman lovely so my second deck is this the maiden's wheel maidens of the wheel oracle cards inner journeys throughout the cycles of the year tammy wamper and i i don't know i haven't had any of her decks before and i i haven't seen this deck on any channel but i don't know i was attracted to the artwork so let's have a look at this beautiful gorgeous oracle and then it's by blue angel and i love their uh, their production i don't know why do they have this extra paper in all of the decks i but look at the box beautiful colors lovely lovely and this is wow this is elegant look at this card okay so beautiful this is very nice i'm so happy that i got this deck look at this look at the artwork the card messages okay that's quite interesting because i was really fascinated by the artwork let's have a look at this okay so these are the backs with this beautiful purple color and i'm going to edge it i think maybe in the same color or maybe this golden color and the artwork is so beautiful alignment community snow white and rose red this is lovely look at this and then courage Birchta, the artwork is amazing power so these are goddesses queen elizabeth the first sovereignty and the spiral steel wind kundalini this is a very uh, unique deck i love the artwork sun and tree a pure lady of the lake this is beautiful also i love this card so much calling these are all goddesses i'm really looking forward to work with this deck foretell the oracle this is beautiful inspire bridget longing nemetona and return perspawn lovely lovely east wind dakini allow rianon this is really interesting and deep domino many of these de uh, goddesses i don't know about and then patience ripen woods which unfold south wind acceptance lilith this is the beautiful very beautiful card that i was really attracted to and then balance destroy disappear lady of the lake focus i would like to read the guidebook ice the snow queen rest not ritual and sacrifice star transform there is not a, an egyptian goddess it's all um like a scottish or um, celtic somehow okay so this is a gorgeous oracle very beautiful artwork 
and I'm so in love with the cards and the art stock is really great it's matte and it's like all uh, blue angel uh, decks very nice so the third oracle is this signs of the zodiac and um, it was not uh, it had no plastic on I haven't seen it at all on any uh, channel I don't know I just decided to get it look at this box with all the constellations I'm I love astrology and I know a lot about astrology and I have some nice decks I don't know why I keep uh, postponing this um, this video that I wanted to do about my um, my oh, look at this my astrology decks I keep postponing it but this is let's how let's see how to use this deck okay basic information and then these are the backs of the cards so beautiful no this is not these are the cards and we have uh, everything written on the backs okay so it's quite an informative deck this is aries and this is the constellation of Aries profile, the ruling planet, element fire, quality cardinal, polarity, positive masculine, the first house, individuality and self image. So this is virtues and the flaws and some famous areas and then some explanation. The most distinctive Aries trait is being energetic and enthusiastic. They are argumentative. Yes, I know because my son is an Aries and all my three boys are fire signs. So my youngest is an Aries and he is so, he loves to argue. And I really, um, we always quarrel together. <laughs> I'm an, a Gemini, I'm, I'm, I'm impatient, I don't like to argue. So this is amulets that you can use with an Aries. Okay. And this is the emperor correspondent tarot card. And this emperor is the card of the uh, Carlotite. And um, it's strange that they chose this particular card. Anyhow, this is the, still the Aries. Enhance pers persevere perseverance and attract good vibes okay and this is the Taurus so it is more of a um, learning tool and this is the high priest okay and attract money and prosperity because they control the second house and this is the Gemini constellation I'm a Gemini uh communicative friendly creative multifaceted decisive curious versatile flows they change their opinion a lot <laughs> i don't change my opinion a lot i'm very strong-headed <laughs> and then here that's what my my husband tells me and then this is a beautiful card this is the kiss by Gustav Klimt and encourage perseverance okay and then the cancer so this is the card each deck uh, each sign has four cards and they are all like this okay and then the Leo four cards the Virgo Libra Scorpio Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. And then here we have all these, the backs of the cards. So this is an interesting uh, oracle. It's more of a learning tool. Uh, if any of you would love to learn about uh, astrology, maybe this could be a good deck for you. And uh, so those were my three new oracles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for sharing and see you on my next video and bye.